We're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly. We're live at the Splunk.conf conference. Uh, we were here last year with theCUBE. theCUBE goes out to the events. We extract the signal from the noise. theCUBE is a live mobile studio. We did 27 events last year. We did about 35 this year and continue to grow. Thank you everybody for the support, the tweets. You know, great audience. Really appreciate you guys watching. Dennis Callahan is here. He's a senior analyst at the 451. He focuses on infrastructure. Uh, obviously has an interest in Splunk. Dennis, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, thanks Dave. Good to thanks see you. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. So, um, so what do you think of the, uh, the Splunk conference? Um, you know, let's start there. Well, um, getting a lot of good feedback from the end users that I've been talking to. Mm. Um, people love Splunk 6. Uh, they're really excited about being able to extend more capabilities of Splunk to more users within their organization. Um, maybe not as much excitement around uh, Splunk Cloud from what I've been, what I've been told. Um, I think people see it as more, more something that could help Splunk win new customers. Um, but in this uh, iteration, maybe not as uh, useful just yet for the existing customers who've already built a pretty extensive infrastructure on Splunk. Yeah, so, so that's a case, if, if I understand it correctly, um, you're, you're talking to existing customers who have decided to go on-premise and you're throwing yet another cloud offering at them and they've right. decided not to go cloud, so um, it's, is, is, it, is it your sense that it's more just reticence for the cloud or is it Splunk's cloud is lacking you know, functional capabilities? What, what's, your, what's your take on that? Uh, or the combination? The feedback I'm getting is, I mean, I think it is a little bit of both, but I mean, the feedback I'm getting is that in this iteration it's not quite uh, you know, ready for you to actually extend your internal um, deployment of Splunk into the cloud um, in, a, in a real way, just yet. I mean, I think there's going to be some uh, more feature sets coming that will make it easier for people to do that. And but how about Hunk? What, what kind of feedback are you hearing on that? Um, I'm not hearing a whole lot about no. that. I mean, yeah. I'm not really a Hadoop guy in all honesty, so I'm not really, hop not on really board. asking that question just yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, not so there's anything wrong with Hadoop. Well, now the other thing I've heard uh, from customers is, is uh, I've learned a lot. Of course, people come to conferences like this to learn a lot. And the second thing I've heard is, it allows me to, or it makes me realize that I can use Splunk in a lot more, you know, get a lot more out of it than I am currently. Are you seeing that in, with, you know, in the customer base? And, and and what would you recommend customers that are sort of trying to take more advantage out of Splunk? Well, I mean, it's a powerful technology. It's been a powerful technology since it first came on the market, which was what, eight years ago, I think, which is still not that long in time when you, when you stop right. and think about it. But um, what it's gotten better at with every iteration is uh, easier to use, easier to understand, easier to create uh, you know, reports, easier to create queries and, and get information out of all the, uh, the reams of data you have in your organization. Um, so I think, I mean, I think it's going to require some education for customers, but I do think the barrier of entry is now a lot lower uh, for end users across the organization than it has been on previous releases. Now, um, you, you, your wheelhouse is the infrastructure business, infrastructure right? Management, so, yeah. So, yeah, infrastructure management. So, yeah, infrastructure management. So who are the companies that you're tracking? Let's, let's, let's unpack so your space a little bit. So how would you describe that space and, and who are some of the companies that that you see as leaders and thought leaders in that, that, that marketplace? Well, I mean, you know, we, we, we cover everyone at 451, but we do love the startups. We, we always have since we were launched back in 2000. And uh, so, you know, Splunk, they were a startup when, 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 when we first talked to them. Uh, they've made it as a successful IPO. They're doing great, so they're one of the all-stars. ServiceNow is another company that's very similar, uh, similar trajectory, I would say, and, you know, they're in the IT service management space, and, you know, they're doing a great job there. Um, companies I'm watching beyond that, uh, AppDynamics, which is out here in our uh, uh, partner pavilion, uh, they're doing very well. Um, New Relic, another company, application performance management. Um, ExtraHop, uh, they're here today as well. Boundary, these are all application performance management type companies, um, you know, that are actually monitoring uh, measuring your performance of your applications, uh, availability, and user experience, that kind of thing. Um, other companies beyond that, uh, Aptio is a company we're watching very closely. Um, they're kind of like in between IT service management, IT application management. They're focusing more on a financial and business management of, of IT. Okay, and then there, these guys are all competing with, with the whales, right? I mean, you, so here you got HP, BMC, 
uh, uh, CA. IBM, IBM. Yeah, the big four. Um, uh, CompuWare, they're here today. They're, they've got a, they're a pretty big company. Um, EMC, you know, still mostly storage oriented, but they're you know, somewhat in the performance management space. Uh, VMware is a more credible performance management vendor right now, although still probably more for VM, uh, VMware centric environments. So it feels like you've got this, I've been saying all day, all week you know, here, you know, this sort of renaissance of startup activity. Um, and a lot of the traditional guys, you know, some of the ones you mentioned, you know, VMware's probably doing okay, but a lot of the traditional businesses are, are declining. You know, you're seeing um, you know, some real pain in, in the traditional Let's say, let's take IT service management as an example. You see, Absolutely. You see I mean, service now growing like a weed. Exactly. And you see, you know, a lot of the, and they're, they're taking share away from the, a lot of the established vendors. Well, so. BMC got acquired, uh, you know, taken private because uh, you know, the shareholders were not satisfied with the performance of the company. And, you know, why weren't they satisfied with the performance of the company? They are facing a lot more credible um, competition from the startup space, like ServiceNow, uh, even to a certain extent like Splunk, even though they're not a direct competitor. Yeah, now, were you at uh, the ServiceNow uh, Knowledge 13 I conference? I was, yes. Hmm? So, so I was there too, we were there with theCUBE. So compare that customer base with, with this customer base, just in terms of sort of the vibe, <coughs> the enthusiasm, sort of the the, the action that was going on at the event. Um, well, this conference has gone better, I think, logistically than that conference did. So, I don't, you know, that could have prejudiced some people's views, but um, they're, they're very similar customer bases, actually. They're very enthusiastic about the companies. They want to get their hands on whatever uh, Splunk or ServiceNow is developing. Um, you know, they want to get they want to get more users. They want to find more uses for the technology. They want to get more users in their organizations involved with the technology. Um, if you look at ServiceNow, I mean, they want to be more than just a hosted help desk. They want to be your IT system of record. And, you know, get actual, get uh, vendors, uh, like potentially Splunk, to build on their platform. Uh, Splunk is uh, trying to get vendors to build on their platform and build extensions to what they're doing, uh, which they've done effectively in, in one of the spaces I cover, APM, mm -hmm. Application Performance Management. Right. Um, so Dennis, you mentioned, we talked a little bit about cloud a moment ago. I'm curious, what's your take on the importance of Splunk having a real credible cloud presence uh, in the long term. I mean, certainly this is their first iteration of the product. As you mentioned, there'll be a lot more developments. But how critical is having a, a legitimate, uh, fully functioning cloud component to their portfolio to the long term success, you think, of, of Splunk? Um, I think it's very critical. I mean, we are seeing a lot of traction around uh, the cloud for log management. Um, you look at companies like, like Sumo Logic, uh, they, they've doubled their customer count in the last six months. If you look at uh, Logly, just got a fresh $10 million of funding. Log Entries in, in Ireland, they just got a fresh $10 million of funding. So uh, the VCs obviously see the opportunity here, and the VCs do their homework. And of course, they're talking to people like us, but um, <laughs> uh, so they're, they're pouring money into the space. They see a lot of opportunity. Um, you know, Splunk has done phenomenally well in, in, in the years that they've been in business. Um, but there is still a lot of opportunity out there that, that Splunk isn't yet getting. Um, I think uh, Splunk Cloud is going to help them to get more of that opportunity mm -hmm. that, they, that they are missing. Because um, mm -hmm. there's, still, there's still a lot out there. I mean, I mean, VMware entered this space a few months ago and you know, what, what did, I think they, they determined that 75% of their customer base had yet to deploy log management, which I was struck by, but um, <laughs> if that is the case, there is still a lot of opportunity out there uh, for Splunk and the other vendors. Mm -hmm, absolutely, uh, so from, from again back to the cloud, is it, is it essentially, uh, is the opportunity going to be among companies that want to deploy strictly in the cloud, or what role does kind of hybrid deployments, which I think we're going to see a lot more of, especially in, in the space that I covered, big data, I think as that expands and the whole industrial internet concept kind of, as, as that emerges, cloud's going to play an important role in that as you're trying to connect uh, whole industries, really. Um, so, is, is that part of the the play here, where Splunk needs to be able to operate in, in hybrid environments? Um, yes. Uh, I mean, I think you're gonna you got to give your customers what they want. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if, if you look at Splunk through their their history, which is still relatively short history as a company, <laughs> they have true. been they've done an excellent job of giving their customers what they want, mm -hmm. of responding to customer needs, and that's the advantage of being. You know, what is still not that big of a company, mm -hmm. uh, still a startup mentality. Uh, you know, we hear it all the time from the customer, end users we talk to. We know, I'm, I don't want to deal with the HPs, the BNCs. They don't get where, where I am. They don't, um, 
you know, they don't respond as fast to feature requests and, uh, and, and updates to software mm -hmm. as, as a startup would. You know, mm -hmm. I, they don't, I have the startups here, and I think Splunk's done a great job of doing that. Um, so I, I think they're going to have to, uh, they're going to have to continue to do what they've done well to this point, which is, um, you know, keep their ear to the glass, right, and listen to what the customer feedback mm -hmm. is on Splunk Cloud and, and see where they can take it mm -hmm. uh, so that it is more, um, you know, it, it's already, I think, a pretty credible offering mm -hmm. for new customers that are new to, new to Splunk, but I think what they are going to need to do is make it a more, um, more credible, suitable offering for people who already have a, Pretty large deployment in house on Splunk. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that, that to me would strike me as one of the challenges Splunk faces as they as they grow is keeping that focus on the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that's a challenge when you've got investors, you know, pr pressure each quarter to deliver uh, deliver numbers. Right. Uh, what are some of the other do you think key uh, the biggest risks for Splunk going forward uh, in terms of as, keeping up this momentum, which is really just staggering? Um, I. I th I think they're going to be. I think as as competition develops, they're going to be under more and more cost pressure. Mm -hmm. um, if, if 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 when you talk to Splunk customers and you say, "All right, they're not perfect. You, you got there's got to be something you don't like about this company." <laughs> yeah, tell us, give us a, what are some of the negatives? Mm -hmm. Cost is almost always the first yeah. thing they say. Um, so I think that's going to be something they're going to have to watch, especially as the, the competition increases in this space mm -hmm. and the competition gets more credible in this space. I mean, there's a lot of people with log management offerings out there. Um, none really that I'm aware of have the capabilities of Splunk. Mm -hmm. None of the legacy log management products, mm -hmm. right? You know, so I'm thinking like ArcSight, which is part of HP now, mm -hmm. and uh, LogLogic, which is part of Tibco now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Splunk, you know, won that debate already. Um, but it, it's a startup you got to watch for, mm -hmm. uh, which I mentioned before: the Sumo Logic, the Log Leads, mm -hmm. Log Entries, Log Matrix. You know, you'd be wary of all these companies that have Log in their name. <laughs> so these guys, so the startups. Uh, generally, and Splunk specifically, you, you would agree have best of breed in this category, right? Is that fair to say? I would consider Splunk best of breed. Yeah, okay, so let's, say, let's take Splunk specifically then as best of breed. There's an age old you know, debate in, in our business, best of breed or fully integrated suite. Um, and you've got this sort of oligopoly of large whales sort of you know, running the chess table, and they seem to just absorb all the innovation and then you know, wrap it into their, their cycles. Do you feel like in this space um, that there's an opportunity for a Splunk, as an example, to break out? Uh, public company now, can they become a large, you know, they're certainly disrupting, uh, but they're still relatively small compared to some of the you know, large whales. Is there enough room in the marketplace for a company like a Splunk to break out and, and thrive as an independent and maintain independent over the long term, over let's say a 10 year period or more? Um, I mean, you know, they already have broken out uh, in, in their space um, as, as far as them becoming a larger, yeah, big play. I, broader yeah. IT management play. Um, yeah, I mean, they've made an acquisition, Bug Sense, a few weeks ago. Um, you know, we, we cover tech M&A pretty closely and, uh, you know, we think there's going to be more acquisitions from Splunk in the future. Um, I think they're going to have to be very strategic about that. And you know, again, as as they grow, as these as, as they absorb new technologies, new talent, um, you know, they're going to have the same challenges that any other company faces in that position. I mean, ServiceNow they just made their first acquisition a few months ago. Um, they're facing that challenge too. And, and I think in both cases, I mean, now if they are public, I mean, they can't just be in a little box, you know, they can't just be about a log management player. They've got to be a broader IT performance management player, you know, getting more out of your existing IT assets. I mean, that, that's, those are the kind of things that you're going to be doing with Splunk. Well, you guys, we're talking about, you know, Martin McCarthy and, and Simon off, 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 off air, but you guys bet the company, 451, on startups, largely. You, you, you do a really when good job. Launched, when we launched, we did, yeah. We, we, right, and, and yet still, you guys still do a really good job yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of following startups. Of course, you expand. You got to you got to follow the whales, right? Because exactly. you know, there's just so much market being driven by those guys. But it's hard to find an example of a startup that's actually you know sustained. I guess Salesforce is a, is a good example, right? There. I would say so. They're, yeah. They're, they're they're one. I mean, VMware itself really isn't independent, right? I mean, they're 80 percent owned by exactly. by EMC. So it's very difficult for these startups. But but we're entering a period of disruption. That's why I sort of was poking at that. We're kind of out of time. But uh, but uh, Dennis, I'll leave you with the last word. Um, Things that you want the audience to remember, you know, any any research that you're working on, or any any thoughts about the Splunk conference? 
Um, oh, Final word. Research that I'm working well. I mean, you know, we, we did get, get a, bet the company on startups, so to speak, when we started. But uh, lately, we're more betting the company on cloud. And we're seeing um, so many technologies move to the cloud. I mean, perfect example, the Splunk Cloud announcement. I mean, in, in my space, I mean, ITSM, uh, APM, IT Performance Management, uh, that's all moving to the cloud. Um, we had a, a company, Casia, bought Xerion. First thing they did with the technology, network management technology, they put it on the cloud, SaaS. Um, security, you know. you've seen a lot of security move into the cloud. Yeah, um, even if your enterprise applications aren't quite there, even if your internal infrastructure isn't quite there yet, um, still the management applications are going there. And that's where we see the space going, that's where we're focusing our research. Awesome, Dennis Callahan, 451 Research, you guys do a great job, really appreciate you coming on theCUBE. Please uh, send my best to uh, our friends down yeah, at 451. Thanks for having me. All right, keep it right there everybody, we'll be right back with our next guest, uh, Jeff Kelly and I, John Furrier and I. This is theCUBE, we're here live at Splunk.conf13.